It's that time of the year again with breeding season in full swing. Heavily pregnant broodmares are filling barns around the country and the season's first foals are already out in camps with their proud mothers. It evokes excitement in all of us. I get to work at, at, at half past six in the morning. The first thing I do is to go to the foaling barn to see what the evening before has yielded. And of course, I'm not alone when I get there. There'll be 20 others who've arrived there ahead of me. From now until December, more than 3,000 foals are expected in South Africa. It's a busy time of the year on stud farms with all hands on deck. My mind goes back to a time when we were relatively new in the game. We'd been in it about 10 years. And my good friend John Slade and I went to England. We happened to meet up with, of all people, Omar Sharif of Dr. Shivago fame. And one of the remarks he made, which I've never forgotten, was this, that he said the great thing about breeding racehorses is it gives us all a chance to play God. We pick the father, we pick the mother, and then he says we spend 11 months on tenterhooks waiting for the outcome. And the great thing about it is that we're all so excited with the arrival of foals at this time of the year. It's a wonderful time of the year and it's the season of mellow fruitfulness. But it's also a very exacting time because your judgment is on the table. For now, it's sleepless nights for stud managers and staff. But the hope that there's a future champion in this year's crop makes all the effort worthwhile. It's a fantastic time of the year. There's no time like it.